Okay, let's move on. Um, I can see Francis from Lagos. Awesome. Thank you for joining. Uh, Infinix Hot 10 from Abia State. Uh, I can see Afiz from Ibadan. Awesome. All right, let's go on. So uh, please switch off devices. If you have other things on, your television is on, your iPad is on in one place or your phone is disturbed, switch off whatever is going to disturb you because um, tonight I'm bringing the guns out. I'm bringing the guns out. I'm going to show you how you can begin to grow your account every single month and stop blowing your account. All right. If you are here and you are still blowing accounts or you recently blew your Forex account, let me know in the chat. Okay. It's, it's, it happens so, it's so prevalent. It's so common. Blowing accounts is like people are doing that like pure water. But you are supposed to be growing your account. You're supposed to be making money. This endeavor that's supposed to make you money is actually costing you money. All right. So uh, eliminate distractions. Uh, don't post your details in the chat box. If you are on this, if you are on this Zoom, uh, let's see if I'm still on. Okay. If you're on this Zoom, I have your details. All right. If you're on this Zoom, I already I have your details. Uh, so you don't need to send just for security reasons. You don't need to post your information um, in the chat. All right. And um, if you have any questions, just post them in the chat box. I'm going to answer them at the end of the Zoom. Uh, so don't, so that we don't uh, break the flow. Many of your questions will be answered, you know, in the course of the seminar, all right? Many of them will be answered in the course of the webinar. Okay, so, uh, awesome, let's move on. Oh, Afi says he blew more than 500K. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, but after today, if you, if you blow any Forex account after today, I'm not to blame. I'm going to show you exactly how to stop doing that uh, forever. And, I, and I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. Okay, so who is this course for? Uh, professionals that have no time to trade. So maybe you have a job, you are a business, and um, you, know, you understand that, look, I can make money from Forex, but um, I don't have the time to trade. I'm very busy. And there are some of us here, if because you don't have time to trade, that's why you're actually losing. Meaning that, you know, you are trying to squeeze 10 minutes here to quickly check the chart and make, you know, some quick, uh, do some quick position trading or scalping, and then you lose the trade, all right? Is there anybody like that here? You know, it's it happens to me. It happened to me. It used to happen to me in the past. But that's all behind me now. Uh, if you are a frustrated trader and you are not making profits, this course is for you. You know how to trade. You are a professional trader, but you are frustrated. Okay, um, you know, making profits is different from analyzing charts. I'm sh I'm here to show you how to make profit from trading, not how to tell you the, the best strategy out there. No, we are here to make profit. If you are here and you've lost trust in the industry, this thing doesn't work. It's just calm. They're just taking my money. They are, they are, the broker is against me. The, the banks are against me. And I'm just a victim. After today, you are going to have hope, renewed hope, 2024, okay? And if you are just here looking for a profitable and sustainable strategy, something that you can use to grow your wealth, um, you know, consistently and reliably. So, so someone like me coming from a finance background, um, you know, I'm looking for something that can outperform the market. I can't be staying with 10, 15% per annum uh, interest when inflation is 30%. I just need something that can grow my account, my money. I'm working hard, but I want my money to be growing. So any of these categories, uh, this webinar is going to change your life. And I, that's a guarantee. If you listen, pay attention, and um, you know, begin to implement what you are going to learn. All right? So... The question is who will guide you? Forex is like this forest or trading, not just Forex, all right? Trading generally, there's a lot of money that can be made, but 
um, you can also lose money in the same way you can make it. And many times you just need someone to guide you, not someone to profit off of you or to take advantage of you, which is what we are seeing in the industry. A lot of mentorship, a lot of courses, people are just taking uh, signals, you know, copy trading. People are just taking advantage, but you need someone to just point you in the right direction and guide you. That's actually what you need. All right. So I'm presenting myself. Hopefully, I will be able to guide some of you because somebody guided me. All right. My name is Adeposi Opupe, and um, I'm the founder of the Personal Wealth Academy, where we basic I basically help people to teach them how to build wealth from scratch. Okay. And then I'm also the founder of No Limits Markets, which is the forex arm uh, of my practice, where we talk about trading you know, and growing strategies, financial markets and all those things. All right. So um, that being said, why should you listen to me? People like to call me the world, crusade, world crusader because over the last uh, 12 years, I've dedicated myself to teaching people how to make money and how to build wealth. All right. If you go to my social media, that's all you're going to see. Okay, even though I'm an architect, I trained as an architect, I have a BSc master's in architecture, uh, but my call, my assignment is to teach people how to get wealth. That was what God told me in 2017, teach my people how to build wealth. And I've devoted myself to that particular discipline. Okay, so some of you are on this call, very skeptical. How can, I, how can you say I can make 200 pills per trade? They've come again. I'm doing this not because I necessarily need to, but because I'm on an assignment, all right? I have over 10 years trading experience, uh, actually going to 20 years. It's more like 18 years. My first introduction to Forex was 2005. So some of us have been on the block for donkey years and I've made all the mistakes you can possibly make. But I'm also a serial entrepreneur. So this is not all I do. Uh, you know, I have other businesses. As I said, I'm an architect. Um, I have a leather bags business. If I show you here, my my wife and I, we have a family-owned leather bags business. So this is um, natural leather. You can see it. That's natural leather um, that we produce handmade here in Lagos, in Ikeja, where we live. All right. So we're busy. We're busy. Financial a uh, personal finance and business expert. And I've trained over 50,000 people in um, major cities in Africa, you know, uh, Nigeria. I mean, we've got Nigeria. Nigeria is like major cities in Nigeria, but Kenya, that's Nairobi, Johannesburg, Cape Town, um, Accra, Ghana, and other cities in Ghana as well. So over 50,000 people well over that, over the last um, decade, All right? So that's just a little about me. Uh, but the I, life wasn't always like this, okay? And uh, I'm not a billionaire, all right? <laughs> but when I say life was not always like this, what I mean is I was not always this comfortable, certain about my financial future, and in 100% control of my money, all right? It wasn't always like this. About I teach people how to build wealth from scratch. That is the leverage I have now. I can tell you a sustainable plan. Something that you can start today and it won't crash in six months. Okay? Because that's the fear. You need a sustainable plan. You need something predictable. If I do this, this will come out. And there won't be any surprises. If your goal is to build wealth, it needs to be predictable. It needs to be sustainable. Okay? Not that it will work in three months' time. We hear stories. You need a reliable platform because you are going to be building, you know, putting money here and growing it. So we expect that the money in your account is going to be sizable in a couple of months. So we need a reliable platform. These are some of the things that uh, people don't have. You know, they don't, they, don't, they don't take into cognizance when they are trying to build this financial freedom. You can have a good plan, a predictable system, but the platform you are on is faulty and everything crashes and then you need to have the right psychology all right this is just preamble because if your psychology is wrong even if i give you the the, the right plan if i give you the system and if i introduce you to the right platform 
um, you are going to sabotage yourself. You are going to literally take your money and throw it in the gutter. Okay? So these are very, very important things that we need to have. I also believe fundamentally that no one is smarter than you. Okay? No one is smarter than you. Uh, somebody is still saying that he can't hear me. So let me do this just for their own sake. For, for those guys, just bear with us. All right. Let me just help them. This is um, any and um, Charles and who else? Yeah, any and Charles. You guys, your mic is off. Click on the microphone. Let me see if I can help you do that. Okay. So guys, just bear with us. I want everybody to follow so that uh, we can have, they can, they can make the best of this opportunity. Okay. So I'm just trying to help you guys. If you can't hear me, the microphone, something like this. Okay. So I hope they can see. They need to click that. So click on the microphone icon and enable it. All right. So that's as much as I can do for them. I hope they get it right. Okay. So let's go on. I believe no one is smarter than you. If your financial future is as important as you are saying, then why, why don't you learn how to uh to you know to control it to determine the outcome why do you need to work so hard and give your money to somebody else to manage the fund man the fund manager pension funds retirement accounts if it's so important you should be able to manage and and dictate what's happening so if you can relate to my story um if it's making sense let me know in the comments you know i was failing i had no money just a, a couple of years ago even though i understood trading and i was already trading professionally okay for many years i was still failing i had no money blacklisted uh i'd done some businesses mlm you know in fact uh we even got into some marketing businesses that ended up becoming ponzi's you know and i don't bash those companies but that's just where we were when you are pressed for cash you need to you need to make money something needs to happen Okay, in debt, broke and broken. Okay, so if you are somewhere in this phase, I understand it's a matter of time, but then you just need to have a plan. You need to have a plan to come out of this situation and never go back there. Okay, so I feel your pain because I've been there. It was so bad that I had to go back and get a job. I was already doing business for many years, but I made one one audacious move i traveled out of the country to go and expand my business for a business meeting and i came back like a week or two, i was it a week or two weeks like a week um after and my entire business had crashed like no single customer remaining it was as if they were waiting for me to travel so i had to it was so bad i couldn't feed my family i just had my first daughter then i had to go back and get a job just be honorable and to feed my family, to put food on the table was very, very difficult. So if you are going through that right now, um, I feel your pain, but I'm gonna show you how to come out of it. Okay, so this is what, this is my pain. This is my burden. I believe that we are being hindered by the institutions that prey on us with their greed and lack of empathy. The institutions that you are putting, you are giving your money to manage for you, Mutual funds, you are doing this. They are not acting in your best interest. Their primary gain is profit. Okay? And um, they keep your money, they charge you outrageous fees, and they give you cents on the dollar. They give you cobbles. And on top of that chicken change, the government will still tax you <laughs> on that interest. And then after the tax, there's inflation, which is going to 30% in Nigeria as we speak. So for majority of people that are not actually conscious of this, you are not going forward. You are going backwards. So you need to have a serious plan if you are going to make it financially. If you can relate with this, 
let me know in the chat box. I'm just trying to get us on the same page so that um, we can have a fruitful, a fruitful conversation, all right? So at the end of this webinar, what are you going to become? Begin with the end in mind. That's what uh, Zig Ziglar said. My hope and my goal for you is that you will become a smart money manager. Okay? Smart money manager. You're a money, money manager, but um, I want you to be a smart one. I don't want you to put your money where you're going to get 10% per year when inflation is 30% per year. I don't want you to be trying some gambling, making money for two months and losing money, losing everything in the third month. Because that's what most of us are doing. I want you to become a confident trader that when you place a trade, you can go to bed. I'm telling you, I can't remember the last time I was anxious that my money, the trade is market is where the market goes up, goes down. I could as well be playing symphony in my 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 office, and uh, you know, literally no stress in my trading since I discovered what I'm about to show you. All right, you can become a family or self provider if you are married. You know that I can take care of my family. I just had um, a new child, my third child, in February this year. And my in my head, the clock is already counting down that two years' time, this one to enter school. Because <laughs> I already have two. And I know how much I'm paying in fees here, here in the schedule. So, you know, you need something that can give you confidence that I will be able to pay, you know, to, to train these children, to provide for the family, and to just be an all-round success. All right. I want to play this video before I continue. Now, this is my friend. Uh, his name is Alan. I met Alan about 10 years. This was one of the people I was going to South Africa to meet then. We were in another business, okay, not Forex related. We met somewhere totally different uh, industry, but we became very good friends. And then when he found his way to Forex and, he, and he, he heard that I was also in Forex, then he started sharing, he started comparing notes and, um, you know, sharing those ideas. But this guy, uh, for just that little bit of information that he pointed me, he guided me, um, he literally changed my life. So I attribute my success in Forex and my, my confidence to what I learned uh, by associating with Alan. All right. So what I want to play for you is actually a short video, like one minute, but it actually tells you um, it's a testimony of a mutual friend that both of us know that joined um, Alan's mentorship. He has his own mentorship program. And, um, you know, in this, and she had some incredible returns. Now, this is just to show you what is possible. This is not a typical result. Okay. And I don't even, I, I don't push people to get these kinds of results. Uh, you need to have a lot of discipline to do that and time. But I just want to show you what is possible when you apply the kinds of things you are going to learn today. So let me play this video and then I will come back to um, continue. If you're looking for a Forex mentor, then you need to find a person that has got real testimonials of success. Listen to what one of my clients have to say, then take action. Okay, so Moni, welcome, welcome. Thanks for your time. I really appreciate it you doing this i know it is off uh, not scripted so just tell everybody who you are and what you do and where you from awesome thank you so much alan i really appreciate this so guys my name is marni i'm a mom with four kids and um i've been married now for 12 years so it's awesome but uh, about three months ago i I met, I saw one of Alan's ads about three months ago on my YouTube and I decided, you know what, I've been losing in Forex for over four years. So I've lost close to about 150,000 Rand with fake courses and fake things. And I thought, okay, you know what, let me give this guy a go. Um, and then he was, then he introduced me to the strategy and I thought, no, nah, I don't know if this is going to work because people scared me, but I decided to take it and I actually took an account with $100. And I started trading his strategy and I just kept on trading it for three months. And I literally tripled my account in three months. So I was doing 100% every single month. 
and I'm no expert trader. I haven't been doing it for years. I simply followed the strategy and it, it works. If you just follow the strategy, work on your psychology, you will succeed. And it, I, I cannot tell you how much uh, I'm thankful to Alan for actually changing my life, creating and giving me the the reality that I can be a successful trader. And the best part of it all is I get to be a permanent stay-at-home mom, take care of my kids, run errands, run all over the place, and I get to trade in between it. So it's absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, Alan, for everything that you've done for me and my family. A pleasure. Well, it's an awesome testimony. I really appreciate uh, you telling us your story. All right. So that was that was Mani. Um, you... Mani is the stay-at-home mom. And um, so she kind of had some more time, but um, she applied this strategy you're about to learn and she was able to, you know, triple her account. All right. So these are some other, and of course, I'm going to show you my own results. So this, I, I'm, I'm not telling you theory here. This is what we are doing on a daily basis. Okay. Uh, this is someone's account. If you can see this one. So I'm just taking it from our Discord uh, from our client groups and all that. Some are from Discord, some are from screenshots of their accounts. So this is not my account. This is one of our traders. And you can see that in the space of, uh, where's the date? Last 90 days. So in the space of three months, um, he made 33% on his account. Okay. And I know there are some of you that are doing 100% per month. <laughs> the problem is that in the third month, you are blowing everything. So if you want to be like money, you can do 100% per month, but I need to show you how to stop blowing the account. All right. So this is just somebody and he started with a thousand dollars and in month three, he already had, so he just did his 10% codedly. All right. This is somebody else. This is somebody else who's doing 13% uh, per month and his total return, you see, he's done 103% in about a year. Can you see that? So that is, this is third party, this is FX Blue. So it's not doctored or anything, it's third party audited account. Uh, this is another one. This is actually from our YouTube channel. And um, we didn't even ask for the comment, but it says, thank you for the strategy. It's working perfectly. It's a type of strategy that I've been searching for for years. And this strategy works in bull and bear markets. It's a superior strategy, okay? I dumped everything I was doing when I discovered this strategy because I don't want to be a professional trader. I want to be a profitable trader. I'm not here to argue the best concept. I want to know how to collect money from the market every single day. All right. This is someone else's account. It deposited 26,000 and it's grown into 183,000. All right. And this is in dollars. So what's the problem with your trading? Let's get into the content. Okay, I hope you guys are following. Let me know if it's making sense. So let's get into the training. What is the problem? Why are you losing money in Forex? For most of us, the problem and the reason that you are not making money is that you are you are not profitable, is that you are not actually trading. For most of us, we are speculating. You are gambling and you're just speculating emotionally. That's what most of us are doing when we, when we say we are trading. But you don't actually have a documented system. You don't have a methodology. You don't have a trading plan. Your risk management is, is based on how you feel. So you are not trading. Okay? You are basically gambling. And if you are honest, let me know in the chats. Just type gambling. If what you think you've been doing is gambling, just let me know in the chats gambling all right realistically let me tell you when you start to implement what you will learn there's going to be some kind of a drawdown there's going to you're not going to make a million dollars immediately for some of you you know you're going to have to buy knowledge i'm going to talk about mentorship at the end of this zoom but if, whether you take it or not doesn't matter it's going to take you time to learn a new strategy you're going to make a little bit of mistake so there's always going to be that cost Either you learn the cost by yourself or you pay for mentorship for wisdom to help you escape that initial loss. Whichever one you do, there's going to be that um, drawdown. 
But what happens is that while that your drawdown or that your initial cost is kind of fixed, is limited, after a while, there's going to be a crossover and you start to make profits. But what I want to introduce you to here is we are doing forex trading or trading generally. We are doing it for freedom. And so we are trying to compound our account. That's one of the secrets to freedom is compound interest. And I'll show you how that works. Albert Einstein said, compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. He who understands it earns it. He who doesn't pays it. Okay? So these are my personal results that I'm showing you here. This is one of my accounts. Um, I've done in the last eight months, I've done 13.5% consistently on average. Every single month, I'm up 13.5%. What do you think your life will be if you can do uh, this for, for five years or for three years? No matter how much you start with, if you're able to do 13.5% every month, like clockwork, I've done 183% in the last eight months on this account. So definitely on the way to 2x the account in less than a year. This other one I've done way better. Okay. Um, this is... 232 days, just a little bit less. And this is 22.2%. Okay, someone is saying he can't see my screen. Is that true? Let me share again. Please let me know if you can see my screen. Please type yes. Type yes. I need some feedback quickly. I think my screen is audio. I think my screen is visible. My screen is visible. All right. Um who, who made that comment? Olumide, you may have to um, sign off, leave the room and come back because I'm definitely not showing Alan's picture on the screen right now. All right. So I've made 22% per month consistently for the last eight months on this second account. I started these two accounts, you know, just to prove this system. Okay. Because I have another account that I'm, I don't really show. But these two accounts, um, and I'll, I'm going to show you live. So expectations, expect to receive jam-packed value here. Some of you, if you can't get everything, no problem. I will give you an opportunity to join my mentorship. Or even if you don't join the mentorship, you can join my Discord. So that at least you can keep getting exposed to these ideas, uh, even if you are not ready to take on a mentorship. But trust me, nobody's going to leave this Zoom without knowing how to stop doing your accounts how to make 10 to 15% per month on your account and you know how to hedge trade like the institutions. Okay, you are gonna love this and um, let's go ahead. All right, so Forex is simple, but it's not easy, okay? And the reason is because of our emotions. Many of us have been told that you need to trade without emotion. And I say that is complete crap. There is no way you can detach yourself from your emotions, okay? Uh, your emotions are supposed to be part of your trading. It's supposed to guide you. It's just like saying you want to live without conscience. Your, your conscience is what guides you spiritually, morally, ethically, okay? Even when you're doing business, your emotions are there for a reason. But we've not understood how to use it, all right? Um, I'm going to teach you how to use your emotions, how to be in control and not be controlled by your emotions when you are trading. Where emotions are supposed to play in your, in your trading is they're supposed to tell you your limit, your upper limit. Your emotions are supposed to tell you your risk profile. I don't follow all those, um, I don't follow all those principles that I use 1% of my account per trade. 0.5% of my account per trade, I think that's crap because 1% to you doesn't feel the same as 1% to me, okay? We have different risk tolerance, risk appetites, and especially if you are trading like the institutions, like I'm going to show you, what determines your risk profile or threshold is your emotions, so there are some, some of you, you are trading with 0 0.01 lot size, 0 0.01, and you know it, it, it's not moving you. Then you bump it up to 1.0, 1.0 lot size. Then the market moves 10 pips and your account is in drawdown of $10. 
then you start, uh -huh, you already know that you hit your limit. So what I usually recommend for most people is that start on the lowest possible risk, which is 0 0.01. And I'll show you how to access the lowest possible risk in Forex globally. I'm going to show you on this call. So start on the lowest possible risk and then focus on being profitable. Focus on winning the trades. When you started, when you've mastered winning the trades, like you are consistently, you know, closing in blues, then you can start increasing your lot size. And you are going to increase your lot size up to the point where your emotions start to, you know, where your stomach starts to land in your mouth, where your heart starts to do boogie, boogie, boogie. <laughs> At that point, you know that you have hit your threshold. But I cannot stand there and tell you, it doesn't make sense to me that you have to use 1% of your account. All right? So everybody, um, this one is for free. This is not a free Discord, but I'm going to give you this for free. Um, just go ahead and join um, this Discord. Let me post this in the chat so that we can join and also join the Telegram. Join my Telegram, join my Discord. On the Discord is where I trade every day. So you can trade with me live and see what I'm doing. I post my results. I post my setups there and we discuss the market. So if you want to trade with me, um, you can join the general community on my Discord and uh, where we talk about this strategy. That's what we talk about there, this particular strategy. All right. So go ahead and do that. Now, this is the first thing that you need to write down or take note of. Timing is everything. If you don't have time to trade, you can't profit from the market. And the problem I had before was I was looking for, I used to trade in sessions. So I'm trading London sessions. So I wake up by 6.30 a.m. or um, you know, in Nigeria, and I quickly do look at the chart. I look for my setup, and you know, I get ready. But um, the way I am right now, with the businesses I'm running, I don't even know where I'm going to be by 6.30 <laughs> in the morning. I don't have that one schedule that I can say I can sit down and trade right now. And many of us are like that. So timing is everything. And what I realized what, on, with this particular strategy, I trade on the four hour chart. So I'm going to show you my, I'm going to show you my, my phone, my trades, because we're going to do practical. So let's go to, All right. So I believe you can see my screen right now. Um, let me take off trade level so that. So this is my chart. This is this is how my chart looks like. This is how my my chart looks like. And if you what you can see here on this chart, one of the first things you can see is that I'm trading on the four hour chart. All right. So you can see right there, I trade on the four hour chart. I'm not scalping. I'm not looking for 10 pips. I'm looking for 200 pips and I want to trade. I don't want to, I don't need to look at my phone more than six times a day. All right. So this is how I'm able to, to make 200 to 400 pips per, per trade. And I don't need to check my chart, my phone more than 10 minutes. For me, probably less than five minutes in a day that I used to manage my trades and, and see what's going on in the market. But I, I can say to be safe, 10 to 15 minutes a day, you are very busy. You can get 10 to 15 minutes a day. And it doesn't even need to be at a stretch. Once I open my phone, in, in less than 30 seconds or 10 seconds, I actually know what I want to do because of the strategy I'm going to teach you. So that's the first key here is timing. If you are trading on the four hour chart, can somebody tell me in the in the in the chat um chat box how many four hour candles do we have in a day? I need quick answers. How many four hour candles do we have in one day? Let's see where, where are the professionals in the house? Where are the professionals? How many four hour four hour candles do we have in a day? Six. Yeah, let me just say six. Francis says six. Awesome. Yeah, that's six. 
So if I check my phone, every time a new four hour candle comes out, I only need to check my phone six times a day. And with the strategy I'm going to show you, in the first 15 seconds, 10, 15 seconds of looking at the strat, I know exactly if I need to enter a trade or exit my trade or manage my trade. In 10 seconds, I know. So I look at the phone for 10 seconds. I'm like, oh, okay. I close it back. And guess what? The next four hour uh, candle, I check again. So it doesn't even affect... <laughs> You don't need to become a professor to make money. So the first thing is set your alarm for four hours. So my alarm, I have every four hours, I check my phone. My alarm rings. So even if I'm on site, I'm doing a construction now in Ojoju. I'm on site and I'm very busy. I hear the alarm. It's just like somebody called you on the phone. You pick your phone now and you spend two minutes, three minutes. So I get the alarm. I open my MetaTrader. I check the charts. I'm like, all right, 10 seconds. If I need to close the trade, I close it. If I need to reduce the position, I reduce it. If I need to enter a trade, I enter into the trade. And I close it. And I go about my day. So that's the first thing. Set your alarms for four hours. And then um, you check your chart every four hours. And then second thing is keep a journal. Anytime you make a trade, and this is very good, uh, especially when you're just learning a new strategy. Nobody's going to check your journal. It's for you. Or you can do this electronically. Anytime you make the trade, write the trade you made and the reason why you made the trade. Keep yourself accountable. That's what the journal will help you do. And then, very important is you need to write down how you felt when you took that trade. So if you are feeling anxious when you took the trade, it's possible that you are either using the incorrect lot size, lot size or you are gambling again or you are chasing a trend, you're not following your trade management plan or your money management you know, plan. So if you eventually blow your account, you can go back and say, okay, that trade that blew my account, what, what kind of trade was it? Okay, actually I was feeling, I was, I was depressed. I was revenge trading. All right, so a journal is very good for you to track what you're doing. Okay, now for most of us, here's what you're doing on the phone, on the chat. You are basically risking, and this is how we were taught. This is my chart right here. And you are saying, okay, um, I think, what? where do you think the market is going? It's going up, right? You see this big white candle? I changed my, my bullish candle from green to white. Because I just, I just, I want to reduce stress in my life. I don't like all the green and red. <laughs> you know, just keep it cool. So we think it's going up, right? At a glance, looks like it's going up. You say, all right, let me put my trade. I enter the trade right here. Boom. Um, I want to make what? Where is it? I'm going to put my stop loss at 15 pips. And I want to make uh, 30 pips. And I want to make 15 pips. How many people are doing that currently? You are using 15 pip target price, take profit, and you're using a stop loss of 30. You know what, what happens? You're giving your money over to the bank. The bank knows exactly where you place your stop loss. You say, all right, I don't think it's going to come below this, the last swing low. Okay, so let me put my trade, right, my stop loss under there. But guess what? From the where the price is to that small location there, right here, can you see this? It's, it's already 17 pips. If you can see the top of my screen, those of you who are used to MetaTrader 4, let me help those of you that don't, that can't see it. Let me do something here. This is going to change the way you look at the chart. Okay. So, you see this place here? See this place? This 153 is actually 153 points. So you remove the last decimal, and that's how you see how many pips. So 153 points is 15.3 pips. Okay. So when I'm moving the mouse, if I go back here and you look at that top of my screen where I was showing you right now, 
when I'm moving the mouse, you can see this is this is going down. Uh, can you see this is like thirty pips? This is twenty seven. This is like thirty pips. So what most of you are doing is okay. I want to go short. I think it's dropping. Let me put my stop loss up here, and let me target fifteen pips. I want to put my stop loss above the recent high. <laughs> I want so what the banks will do is that they will just take the market from where you put your price and they will take you out. Just that small distance is 60 pips. So all of you that are swing trade and you are scalping, you will wonder why you keep getting stopped out. The bank has, we have looked at it and see this swing guy and they have put their hands, their, their, um, their orders there. All right, so they will push the price up there. You that you put your stop loss for 30 pips, they have already moved the market by 60 pips, all right, up there. They move the market by 60 pips and then they, they take you out and then the thing will now start going in your direction. So you look at, they are always after you. Yes, because you are trading retail. I want to show you how to trade like the banks do, okay? I don't use, I don't use take profit. I don't use stop loss. How can you trade? And I'm getting into the meat now. How can you trade profitably without using a take profit and a stop loss. So what's the secret of professional traders? The secret of professional traders is hedge trading. The banks don't use a stop loss. Please tell me which bank is going to put $2 million in a trade and put a stop loss. To do what? To explain to who <laughs> that the money went where? Institutions don't trade with a stop loss. They don't trade with a take profit. What they do is position trading and they manage their positions. I'm going to show you live here. I will show you live institutional orders and how they manage their positions and how you can actually sneak and check what they're doing every single week. So professional traders do something called hedge trading. And when you are hedge trading, you don't need a stop loss. So I'm going to explain what exactly is hedge trading. You don't need a stop loss. You don't need to take profit. Some of you, let me go back to my chart. You say, oh, I want to go short. All right, I put my stop loss above the swing high, which is this place here. And I want to target, you know, maybe this swing low. So you look at that, oh, it's a risk to reward of one to six or one to five. Well, that's great. But whereas the trend, was maybe trying to drop by 1,000 pips or by 500 pips. You collected 30 pips, but the trend was 500 pips. So why would I shortchain myself, take all the risk, and only collect 30 pips? When the last trade you could have done, like the trade we, we I, I highlighted to them in my group, from here, this was on Tuesday morning up to yesterday morning, all right, that right there was about 476 pips. If you look at the top there, you can see it, 476 or 475. That's where we would have, would have gotten out, somewhere around here. Why would I take 30 pips when I can take 400 pips in a day? This is what the banks are doing. Just doesn't make any sense. So what exactly is hedge trading? Now, what you guys do is that you, you take where you want to enter and then you measure a stop loss, your risk, and then you measure a take profit. So what you are saying is, if I'm wrong, okay, I want to go short. Let's go back here. I want to go short. Where price is, you can see where the price is. Price is here. I want to go short. So I'm going to put my, my stop loss right there and risk 1% of my account. And then I'll put my take profit somewhere here. Risk to reward of ratio one to two. All right. Now, if you are wrong, and sometimes you are not wrong, you are actually right. The challenge is that the institutions know where you put your stop loss and they are looking for liquidity. So they will move the market to your stop loss, scatter your account, and then allow the price to keep going. They don't want you, we okay. Let me say we we don't want you to be to be disturbing our trend when it's going. 
Because when you are taking your profits, you know your profits, if you sell and you take profit, that your take profit is a buy. You sell at the top, you buy at the bottom. That's what a sell, a sell trade is. So if we allow you in the market and you are selling, when you take your profit, and we are going for 500 pips, you are doing for 30, you will be disturbing our flow. We don't want those kind of movement. So what we will do, we will push the market up to your stop loss and use your stop loss as our liquidity. We will enter there and then by the time we have wrecked all your accounts, we will now allow the market to go where we were planning for it to go. So you'll be like, I was correct, I was correct. But they will, they will push your stop loss, uh, take it out and allow you to go. So instead of doing a stop loss, what should you do? The simple thing that you would do to head trade is if I open a sell trade of 0 0.1 lot and I measure my risk, that same place I would have put my stop loss, what I would do is I will put an opposite trade. I will put a pending order. That's a buy, but it's pending. Only if price gets to that point, I will put an a pending order that is equal risk, equal lot size as my first trade, my original trade. So that if the trend, if the price gets to my original stop loss, instead of closing me out in a loss, it will enter that buy trade. And once it does that, my account is going to be in equilibrium. Equilibrium means that no profit, no loss, but there is a drawdown. The drawdown is frozen, it's fixed. And I'll show you now on my phone what that looks like. What that means is let the thing go up. If they push the price up like that, let's go back to this uh, screen. So if they decide to push the, let's say you have put a hedge, right? Your first trade, this is your first trade, yeah? And then the market now went up maybe somewhere here. If they decide to push the price up, guess what's going to happen? This your buy trade is going to be positive, right? This your sell is going to be negative. So between here and here, you have a small drawdown, but it's frozen. The drawdown will not increase if price is going up. What will happen is this your positive trade will increase. This your negative trade will increase. If the price decides to come down, what will happen is this your positive your buy trade will be in negative and your sell trade will be in positive do we understand what i just said now if you understand say yes say yes in the chat okay that's what a hedge is it means no pro no more profits no more loss but your account is frozen now what does that allow you to do that allows you to say all right if these guys are if i was wrong let's assume it's, let's assume i even guessed i guessed I didn't know where to, I just enter buy. If the thing goes against me, I hedge it. When the price goes up, I'm going to tell you how to know when the thing, when the price decides to turn, they have finished their, their uptrend and they want to start going down. What I'll do is I will close this, my buy trade in profit. I will lock in the profit. And then as the price begins to come down, what will happen to this, my sell trade that is negative? The negative drawdown, that's the, the unrealized loss, it will be reducing. So this can be minus $100, it doesn't matter. Once I close this one, this this and the price starts come only when the price starts coming down, that's when I'll close the profit. Hole. And I'll tell you how to know. So when it starts coming down, I now, this one starts coming to profit and the price eventually come into profit. And then I close the sale. So I never close trades in a loss. I can't remember the last time I closed trade. Why will you close trade in a loss? When you can hedge trade and make money both ways. Okay? So that's hedge trading. I'm sure somebody's head is doing pfft, light bulb moment. <laughs> All right? This will change your trading. So the secret of profitable traders is hedge trading. Let me show you what that looks like. Now, this account, let me show you this. Okay, so 
this is a test account. I only open this account. The money there is just for trading. Training. This is my training account. And um, sometimes I forget. I even forget that I have trades open. But you can see that I have a buy and I have a sell. Now, the difference, the open drawdown. So what happened was I had a buy trade. The thing was going up. Then the thing now went down. So where I was supposed to have a stop loss, I put a sell. And market has been going down since that time. Let me tell you when I did it. Ah, oh, can I remember? So, okay, that's the trade there. Let me go to a smaller time frame so we can see. We can see the trade. Yeah, so that's the trade. Let's go to five minutes. Okay, so that's it. So you can see the buy and you can see the sell. So I think it was somewhere around here. Not sure. I think I wanted to, I just, for example's sake, I just bought. And I said, all right, if it goes against me, I will sell. Where would I put my stop loss? I put a sell, but it has to be the equal size, the same size as the buy. So 0.01 will be 0.01. If I have many buy trades, I will add all of them together and create a sell trade of all of the, the sum of all my buy trades so that it's equal, very important. Now, guess what? Price has been going down. See, price has been going down since that time, all the way down. And my buy is in profit, 21, but my, my sell is in profit, my buy is in negative. But look at the drawdown. The drawdown is plus or minus $1. Plus or minus $1, it will, I can leave this till kingdom come. It will always be $1. When I realize that the price has, the trend has changed and the trend now wants to go up, right? So you can see this is where the trades are open, right here. And um, we are down here. So if I confirm that price is going up, what I'll do is I'll close my sell. I will take in my profit. Let me tell you. So this is my sell from here, down here, is 225 pips. Can you see there? It's 25 pips. I'll take my sell profit. And then as the price keeps going up, my buy will be reducing in drawdown until it now goes up and is now profit. So that's hedge, hedge trading. So let me explain dollar cost averaging because these are the two things that banks use. But you, you are in a hurry. You want to hammer today. The banks don't mind being in a trade for five years. They are patient. It's called patient money. So dollar cost averaging, how does that work? This is, this is how dollar cost averaging works. If you take your money to a fund manager or somebody like that, they are going to show you, let me give you an instance of, can I do this? Okay. Perfect. This is a perfect example of dollar cost uh, averaging. Okay, so if you take your money to a fund manager or you want to invest, they will tell you that you should invest a particular amount of money every month. So let's say you have $1,000 to invest. All right, invest $50 every month because we don't know if the market is going up or down. But if you invest the same amount of money over a period of time, you should come out in profit after a while. That's what hedge trading is. Okay, so this is what, this is what you do. In month one, you know, let's say you start here. You put in $50. Guess what happened? The market went what? Down. All right. But you continue investing. In month two, you put in $50. Month three, you put in $50. The market went down. Month four, you put in $50. Month five, $50. Month six, $50. Month seven, $50. Month eight, $50. And after eight point eight months, many of you would have said, this thing is a scam. It's not working. But markets only go up and down. Whatever goes down will come up. 
as long as it's currency. Okay. Now, I want someone to tell me in the chat, have you ever seen a currency go to zero? A forex chart that goes to zero. Have you seen a currency pair that went to zero? Is it possible? Yes or no? Yes or no? Have you seen a currency that went to zero? I need answers, please. A currency pair like euro dollar that went to zero. It's going down, it's going down, it's going down. It's, <laughs> whatever goes down, it's going to come up. If the US economy is doing very good, very good, very good for, the next, for the next three months, something will happen one day, the thing will go the opposite way. Somebody will mess up. Election will come. They will go to war. Markets always go up and down. So if it's not going to zero, why are you scared and closing your trade in a loss? If you are able to just be patient enough and we stand that time period, guess what? Let's assume this month nine, month 10, month 11, month 12, month 13 starts going up. You see, all this while, the price was consolidating. All right. It's just like up and down, up and down. But in month 14, you know what happened? The price went up. All these, all these trades, all these trades right here from month 14, you see all these trades from, from trade number six to trade 13. That's like seven months of investment. All, all of a sudden, they are in profits. Are you seeing that? That's dollar cost averaging. Month 15, you invest. All these ones become in, in profits. Some become in profits. Month, month 16 and 17, 18. And at month 19, guess what? Even your first month investment is in profit. This is what a lot of us don't see when we are dealing in the financial markets. What, as long as it's not a uh, a crypto, <laughs> crypto can go to zero, okay? Yeah, especially if you're doing a meme coin, all right? Um, if it's a currency pair, mostly, most times it can't go to zero. If it's a commodity, it can't go to zero, okay? Um, so, so that's dollar cost average. Does it, does it make sense? Now, what we are doing is we are applying the principle of hedging in addition to dollar cost averaging. And then we now layer on our precise or precision entry pattern. That's what makes this thing very powerful. Okay, so I've explained the benefits of hedge trading. No more losing trades, no stop loss. Increased profit line. You ride the entire length of the trend. Okay, look at this for example. This example I gave you. This is your number one trade. If instead of just waiting for it to go down, go down, what if you enter the hedge trade somewhere here? You know, this one that was negative, you enter the hedge trade. You would have rode reading the trend all the way to the bottom. And when you are sure that it has, you know, it has started going up, you close the sell trade. Leave the bio that is negative, but the sell, close it and then the price starts going up. So you make money, you ride the full trend down and you ride the full trend up. That's how to do a comeback. So you increase your profits and that's why we can get 400 pips in a trade. It's predictable, it's dependable and it builds confidence because you know that whatever happens, I will come out of this thing profitable. Now I posted something in my Telegram, let me show you. Um, I posted it. Yeah. So this was a trade. This was from Tuesday morning. All right. And based on our entry pattern that, I, that I'm going to show you now, where we discovered that, okay, this was where you're supposed to enter. Even me, I missed it. I was sleeping. This was around 6, 6 a.m. All right. I was sleeping. But by the time... Um, I woke up the thing had already. I missed the I missed the entry. Okay, now this was Tuesday morning. As a Thursday morning, which is this morning. In fact, this was about um this was yesterday. This was actually um when was this? The bottom of the trend. Don't spy on my wife. Oh. 
let's look at the bottom of the trend. Bottom of the trend was May 1st. So basically at the end of the day of that Tuesday, the 30th of, of April was Tuesday, at nine o'clock, you would have exited the trade. And if you took that trade, you would have made 480 pips in one day. Simple, no stress. And you would have only checked your phone at least five times or six times. All right? So that's how powerful this thing is. And you can see that I'm already in a buy here. So what I would have done if I didn't miss the entry is that I would have entered the hedge, I would write it down, and I would close the trade in profit. And now that the thing has, is returning, my buy will start reducing in drawdown. So you manage the positions. Okay? I think I've flogged this, I've flogged this thing um, well enough. Somebody says, but not all brokers allow hedging. So I'm going to talk about that um, at the end of this. Okay? The strategy I'm about to show you has a, an 85% success rate on entries and exits. 85%. So it's not 100%, but I think 85% 85, 85 is, <laughs> is good enough. All right. So, and you don't even need 85%. You can actually be wrong most of the time, but if you know how to hedge, you can make money on the opposite direction and then still come back to make money in the right direction. But it's just better that, you know, you can be right 85% of the time. Okay. So now let me talk about the broker because somebody talked about, Emmanuel said, not all brokers allow hedging. I recommend you use FBS for some specific reasons I will explain now. And if you are going to be trading with me, all my traders will use FBS for the reasons I'm going to explain now. FBS has over 28 million trade. I don't know the broker you're using. I don't know how many traders they have. But FBS has over 28 million. And this was as at two years ago, this count. They're over 14 years in the industry, so they are reliable. They are trustworthy. They are regulated, very important, regulated, and not just regulated in one country. All right. They're regulated in four countries, Cyprus, Belize, South Africa, and Australia. Okay. So Cyprus is where uh, the, the referee for Forex, the ombudsman, uh, that's, where the, that's where the headquarters is. So if they're regulated, if something happens to your account and you report to them and they don't treat it, if they cheat you or they do some gimmicks, you can report to the re referee. And if the referee queries them and finds that they did sharp practices, they can withdraw their license. So regulated brokers do not like Wahala. If you report something and you can show proof, many times my traders, my clients have issues. There was a spike. There was a spike on the broker end that we saw on an, that it was not so on other brokers. We will take a screenshot and send it to them and they will reverse the money immediately. So something happened, you were, you were supposed to be in a profit, but there was a spike and something happened and your account got blown. Because they're regulated and not, that's one. And number two, I have priority access to FBS management because of my partnership with them. All right, I, I can escalate your matter and say, treat this case now. And they will refund that money. They will reverse the trade. They will reverse it, you know, back to your account. So we've done that for many clients. So that's why I recommend you use FBS. But over and above that, the spreads are low and you don't have swap fees. So FBS allows you to trade institution trading strategy, like hedging. Not many brokers allow you to hedge. Some brokers don't allow you to even buy and sell on the same chart. All right. You will have to open another account on the same account. Self. You will have to open another account or hedge using another instrument. But this broker allows us <coughs> to hedge on the same chart and no swap fees. On FBS, I can open like this trade. This trade was opened uh, 25th of April. So that's like five, six days or seven days now. And you can see the swap fee zero. Taxes, zero. Charges, zero. I have trades on my main account that are going back. Going back how many years? 
So, can you see these trades? This trade was open 25th of 25th of September last year. Guess what? No swap fee, no tax. Can you see trades? No swap fee, no tax, no charges. I can keep this trade open for 10 years. This is what you can't do on many brokers. All right? You can't do on many brokers because you'll be paying swap fee every day, every day, every day. So how are you going to hedge trade? How are you going to dollar cost average? How are you going to be patient? That's why a lot of us are struggling, are, are rushing to close the trades. Are you seeing that? So for these reasons, especially if you are going to be mentored by me or trade with us in our community, uh, just so that we can ensure that this strategy can work for you, I recommend you use FBS and we can watch over your account. So just avoid many brokers, scams. They make, they rip you off. Um, I've had personal meetings with FBS in Nigeria when they are um, in touch with their, their reps here. And, um, you know, we have a very good relationship. Very good relationship, okay? So what I want to show you guys, okay, I've given you the links to... Um, I'm giving you the links to join the Discord. If you haven't joined the Discord, please join now while it's still free. Okay. Join now while it's still free. So join my Telegram for updates. So the first step you would do is to open an FBS account. Once you join the Discord, I will show you how to do that. There's a particular account that you need to open if you want to trade this strategy. Okay, it's called a cent account. Cent. And FBS allows you to open a cent account. On a cent account, one pip or 0 0.01 on 0 0.01 lot size, one pip is one cent. Most of you are opening standard account and you are trading $50. If you open a standard account, one pip. Even if you use 0 0.01, which is the lowest risk size you can do, look at this. You can't go be you can't go lower than 0 0.01. That's the lowest you can do. If you do 0 0.01 on a standard account, your risk per, per pip is one dollar. If the price moves 20 pips, 20 dollars is gone. And you are trading with 30 dollars, 50 dollars. If the price moves 400 pips or five, like it did yesterday, uh, two days ago here, yeah? if it moves like that, this one, where is it? 400 pips, 450 pips. Your account, can't even, you, your account would have been blown right here. You are trading $100 on a standard account. I hope you can see my chart. Right here. From here to here, your account would have been blown. And the thing is still going down. So you need to be on the right account. So if you go through me to FBS, you'll be able to open a cent account. You can try it if you don't believe me. If you go to FBS directly, you won't see cent account. It's only available to our uh, uh, traders. Okay. So open a cent account. We'll show you how to get the swap fee removed and confirmed. Such that even in future, if they ever charge, you see a charge on the account, you will just remind them, use the email trail and say, Based on this, remove, reverse the swap fee. All right. Then I'll show you how to download and set up your MT4 using this, uh, the way you can see it on my chart. Okay. Set up the moving averages, which I'm going to teach you how to use now. The moving averages are the trigger. That's how we know our entry and our exit. But there are some special moving averages that we use. And then I'll show you how to set up your statistics. Because you are not going to be looking at this place. Uh, for to measure your trade, somebody like, oh, oh, this is in drawdown, one twenty two thousand dollars. <laughs> it's because you are gambling. Risk. For those who understand risk, it's okay. You can play. You can manage it. It's only risk for those who don't understand. When you see blue like this, many of you, your heart is already beating. Close the trade. Close the trade. Close the trade. But these blues, they are hedging some reds. And I'm, we, I'm waiting for the price to reverse. Once the price reverses, I will close my profits 
right? And then these cells are going to reduce. Like these cells, they were way bigger than this. But now that we've been in a downtrend, they started reducing. Now that we've been in a downtrend, the cells are reducing. So I've been taking some profit. You see? I've been taking some profit. Look at my profit in the last month, in the last one month. Can you see there? This is what you need to be looking at, not the open trades. Look at the profit I've closed in the last one month. By the way, this is a cent account. So in a cent account, what you are seeing is in cents, not dollars. So this is not 42,000. Eight hundred and one dollars. This is four hundred and twenty-eight dollars profit. All right, that I've closed. This one is banked. Is banked, and I actually made more than this. I made like about um, was this seven hundred dollars? If you add all these things together, but I was tired of some of these sales, so I said, you know what? Let me offload some of my drawdown. So I made like. Um, $700 and then I said let me use $300 out of my profit to close some of these cells just to lighten the weight on my account are you seeing that but I'm still left with $428 in profit and I'm not in a hurry this money is not I'm not eating with the money it's for wealth creation <laughs> okay so so that's how we trade and some of you are looking at this, like if you are trading and looking at this screen, most like most often than not, you are gambling. So let me help some of you there. Let me help some of you. You need to take Forex trading as a business. Okay? Not something that you do to me, not a scheme. It's not a scheme, not a system, not this thing. It's a business. And when you are running a business, you are going to always have drawdown. This money you are seeing up here that is in a loss, that is, is an unrealized loss. I've not lost the money. But some of you, when you see red, you quickly close it. <laughs> Why are you dashing money to the broker? I've not lost that money. I'm going to manage the trace because when it, the market is going to come back. And then because I can hedge, I can wait for it. But even with this open drawdown, I'm still making 22% per month on my account. Because this is where we need to look. Look at the profit and look at the chart. Not here. I don't, I only open here when I want to close a trade. I don't, I never look at this place. All right. So you need to look at your business as you, as uh, you're trading as a business. If you are, for example, you run a supermarket like ShopRite. Let's assume you use 100 million to set up your store. You bought, you rented the place, you did interior design, and you stock goods. You have inventory. Everything is about 100 million in a big stock. All right. That's already a drawdown. You need to, because you need to break even. Are you seeing it? But you're in business. You are paying salaries, like you are seeing me here with my profit paying salaries. You know, you are collecting money from the market. You know, sometimes you sell a bicycle from the store, you sell blender. You said deep freezer. You see all those small things are the trades that we are making. We are closing the trades. But when you close the trades, does that take away the drawdown? Does that take away the open drawdown? Even if you have made your capital back, as long as you are in business, you are always going to have drawdown. So get comfortable with it. It's not a bad thing. There's nothing wrong. It's because you don't understand how the institutions trade. There's no institution that does not have an open drawdown and it's going to be open forever. They just manage it. Are you seeing it? So when you sell 10 million Naira worth of goods in a month, you've made 10 million Naira profit, but you still have overhead. You still have drawdown. That 10 million Naira that you made, you're still going to use most of it, a lot of it to go and buy and stock up for next month. So you are just managing the cash flow. Are you seeing it? So that's how you need to look at trading if you want this thing to really work stresslessly. And we've gotten it down to a science. All right. Okay, someone said they tried to join the Discord, but they're not going. Are you sure that's not? I think they're working fine over here. All right. They're working fine over here. Let me look at the links. 
And um, has anybody been able to join? Let me see. Uh, let's look at Telegram. All right, they're working. They're working fine. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let me show you the entry and the exits. How do we enter and how do we exit? Okay, now let's talk about the moving averages. This is the game changer. We, we use moving averages to, to, you know, to know the trend, when the trend changes, because that's what we used to know when the trend starts, and then we ride, all, we ride it up to the top, and then we exit. So we ride the full size of the trend. Gold in the last couple of months or weeks has done over, let me measure it on the chart so you can see. <clears throat> so that, this is not theory. This is what gold has done. In the last, look at this. Why do we use gold? Why do I trade gold? Number one, I don't want to be in the chart doing up and down, up and down. I want a la, a good trend. This trend is 3,600 pips. Can you see it? 3,600 pips. I've never seen this before in my life. In my 18 years of trading, 3,000 pips without a pullback, a significant pullback. Obviously, this happened because of the war. But you know how much money <laughs> we made in this thing, okay? Without stress. So gold gives you those sustained momentum, right? And then the moving average helps you to know when to enter, when to exit. So we don't use just any moving averages. We use the bankers moving averages. There's some specific moving averages that bankers use. And that's what we put. That's what you can see on my charts. And there are about five of them. So we have the 34 moving average. The 34 moving average is this uh, yellow one that you can see. Let me look for one place that is nice ahead. So this yellow one is 34 moving average. I don't even like this one. Let me look for a nice, or oh, whatever. So and it's the same thing. 34 is the first stop. Uh, you will realize that the price always Either it will pause or it will reverse on these moving averages. Why is that so? It's because the banks are trading on those averages. If this, if you see that the price came up and touched here and came down, it's not your one, it's not your one thousand era. It's not your one thousand dollars. It's not even your ten thousand dollars trade. It's not even your hundred thousand dollar trade that is moving this thing. This is billions of dollars. Some serious millions. That for for gold to move like this, some serious billions. All right. So if the market moves, is because the institutions are moving it. Just get that in your head. If the market moves, it's because the institutions want it to go there. They have enough money to move it. They have the mandate to move it. They have the patience to move it. They can hold the loss, even if that's not where they want it to go. They can still move it there first. Collect all your own money first. And then it's not go where they want to. They can wait. All right. So if you see that the, the, the price is hogging this moving. Look at this one. It's hogging the moving average. So the 34 is the first stop. If price gets 34, it will pause. You can see it. It hits here. It came down. It's a pause. It will breathe. But if, this, if it still wants to go through, it hits the 50 moving average, which is the purple and white. Um, that also is a strong moving average that price tends to pause or reverse so what do you do when you see price moving hitting these places you can decide okay do i want to take some profit do i want to close my position uh, but you really know what something's going to happen here they may the bank may decide to reverse the market the bank may decide to take profits at this level all right so if you see what's happening at this point here the thing hit this purple and came down they were taking some profits and then they enter the market again. It hit the, the blue, which is the 100 moving average. You know, it, it took some profit again, and then they enter. So you can really see the flow of money in the market with these moving averages. All right? Now, the 50 moving, and don't worry about this. I'll give you the full setup. So just make sure you join the Discord. I will give you the full setup for all these moving averages for free. That is a gift from me. All right? For free. The 50 moving average on four hour chart is the same thing as a 200 moving average on the one hour chart. 
And the thing about the 200 moving average is that it's a no trade zone. When price is, if price is coming down, like from down, is once it hits, once it gets close to the 200 moving average, I close my trade. I don't even want to know what's happening because it's very likely that price wants to reverse at that point. It may not reverse, but it's very likely. I don't want to get caught in all this. You know, it's a no trade zone. You can get, you can get caught. If you buy, it will go down. If you sell, it will take you out. If you buy, you know, so just stay out of the market when you get to um, a no trade zone. <clears throat> so I'm giving you the strategy already. So if you see the trade I told you, yes, that we took, well, I didn't take the trade, but some guys in my community would have taken it. Um, when we entered here, and when we saw that the price was getting to the 200 moving average, can you see that line? That's the red line there. So that's why that's why you would have exited right here. And that was 450 pips. Very simple. If you just open your phone, ah, it's, it's close to the 200. You close the trade and you exit. And you wait for what the bank wants to do. When you see what the bank wants to do, oh, they want to go up, then you follow them. Very simple. Is this making sense? All right. Even a secondary school student can do this. Just check. And I will give you the entry conditions. So I've shown you about hedge trading, dollar cost averaging. I've talked about the moving averages. You know, we put these things together to form a concerted strategy. So I don't use RSI, MACD, stochastic. There's no need. I don't want to be overanalyzing and giving myself a headache. I just want to know where the institution is taking the market to, and I want to follow them. I enter when they enter, and then I exit when they exit. And if I make a mistake, I hedge, and I wait for another opportunity to exit at a profit. Finish. I never close a trade in a loss. Okay? So I like to also use candlesticks to read the chart so that I have an idea of what's happening. I don't trade on the candlesticks, but I, I they are more like predictive. Okay? And candlesticks are tried and tested over 400 year old strategy. So um, I'm okay with it, <laughs> all right? The most successful trader of all time is the guy that developed the candlestick analysis, okay? So it's tried and trusted. The only candlestick that we use in trading is the doji. And the doji is our exit signal. If I'm in a trend, an uptrend, and I see a doji, I close the trade. That's the only thing I use. That's the only trade I take on a candlestick pattern. Every other thing I do with the candlestick is just to read what the chart is doing, understand where price is going, what are the banks doing. For example, if I see there's a doji right here at the bottom, some of those of us who are uh, understand candles, you can see there's a doji here. This one is a doji, right? This is like a uh, pin bar, right? A dragon. Looks like a dragonfly doji, okay. But this this right here is the reversal candlestick. It's a reversal uh, indicator, so to speak. It means that price came here, it came down, and then it closed back up here. So, but that's not why I will close my trade. I don't respect a doji, a do this doji here. I don't respect a doji at the bottom of the trend. The reason I close my trade here is because of the. 200 moving average. If I get 20 pips close to that thing, I close the trade. Sometimes I get 40 pips close to that 200 moving average, I close the trade. I don't want to get, <laughs> you can see what can happen. If I was in this trade and you missed it, pew, in just a, bit, a few hours, price has, it can repel um, price. All right? So when I say doji at the top, let me look for doji at the top so that we can look at it together if i see a doji right here at the top i close the trade can you see the drop it's easier for price to crash than for you to go up so when you see a doji it means indecision if i'm in a trend and i see doji i will exit it all right if i'm in a trend and i see a doji i exit let me look for another doji uh where's the doji so can you take that as a doji? You can take this as a doji. If I was in a trend, let's say I entered a trade here and I saw this doji, I will exit. And if price decides to keep going, I can enter again above the previous high. 
All right. So that's how I would treat that. But once I see the doji and it closes as a doji, as the next candle opens, I'll, I'm out of the trade. Okay. See a textbook doji here. Textbook doji. See the, see the swing up here. Doji crash. No story. When you see doji, respect yourself and take the money. Okay. So. I don't want to waste more time. We spent a lot of time already, but I hope you guys are enjoying the session. Let me know. I'm trying to give you as much of information. This is paid information that we treat in the in our, our mentorship, but I'm giving you guys for free. So that's why I'm not leaving the replay up. Okay. <laughs> so because this is this is paid content. So what is the game changer? The eight EMA is the moving average that we use to determine when we enter. And when we exit so i've showed you all the other moving averages but the smallest one this one this one that looks like black and white is actually red and white um that's the eight exponential moving average all the other moving averages are simple moving averages but this one is exponential and it's eight period all right so the eight ema tells us when to enter that's our primary uh trigger is what when I open my phone and I see it, I already know where to enter. I don't need if I to come out. But on top of this ATM, if I now see Doji, I will exit. Are we getting that? Um, are we getting that um, analogy? So how do we use the ATM to know when to enter and when to exit? This is where you what you actually need <laughs> from this webinar. Very simple. How do you know when to go long? When the second candle opens above the eight EMA, you go long. I open my phone. I see the eight EMA. That's this one. Second, so let me show you what second candle means. So a candle opened above a candle. That means the price was under the eight EMA, but a, one can now open above. I count it number one. I'm waiting for the second one. Because price can open like this and the second one can close down. You understand? So I want two candles to open above the 8 EMA, not one, on a four-hour chart. The second candle that opens, that's my buy signal. I just enter my trade. Bam. And I ride it all the way up. I ride it all the way up. When I see a doji, I close. Very simple, <laughs> very simple strategy. Okay? That's entry signal. How do I know when to exit? When I see a doji, I exit. But if I get a second candle that opens below, I will also close. So second candle opens above, I enter. If price comes down and second candle now opens below like here. So you see this one was above. First candle opened below, second candle open below, I close the trade. Sometimes this one can come down, go back up, come down. But I want to see two candles opening under. Once the second one opens, not close, open, I close my, my buy. As long as it's in profit. That buy that I opened, if it's in profit, I will close. If it's not in profit, I leave it. It's a hedge trade. It's a dollar cost averaging trade. Very simple. When a second candle opens above the 8 EMA, you, you can buy. And you ride the trend up. When the, when the thing now reverses and the second candle opens below, you exit your trade. But what can you do when you exit your trade? You can also enter a short trade, a sell trade, because now price is going down. So ride the trend up, ride the trend down, ride the trend up. And it just takes 10 seconds to see it. When you open your phone, as the second candle open above, no, you close it back. And go about your business. Are you seeing it? So the crossover is both your entry and exit signal. Is this making sense? If it's making sense, type yes. So we're, we're going to be wrapping up soon, but wait till the end because I have a special offer for you guys that joined live. Okay, only because you joined live. All the other guys that didn't join, they're, they're going to miss it. All right? So... Let me give you an example. So follow closely so you don't get uh, confused. All right. Don't mind all the jaga jaga on the chart. Follow the eight EMA and my example. So the one that hugged the chart closes it eight EMA. So price was trading under. You can see it's under the eight EMA. 
But this one, it went up pew, and closed above. Now, this one I'm pointing to is the first candle that opened above the 8 EMA. Then, this red one is the second candle that opened above the, that's where I enter. I enter on this red candle, this second candle here, because that's, it's selling me a long trade. But can you see what happened? I entered, I was expecting the price to go up. What the price do, it went up. And it didn't give me opportunity to close at a profit. The price went up and went down and crossed the 8 EMA. First time, second time. When the second candle opened below, normally I'm supposed to close my buy trade in a profit. But you can see that this place where I am now is lower here, is lower than here. So that means my buy trade is in a loss. It's red, it's in drawdown. What do I do? I open a hedge trade. If I use 0.01 to open this buy, I will use 0.01, the same size to open the sell. And my intention is that I want to ride the trend down. Okay. And when the thing changes, I will close this myself in profit. And then I will enter a buy here and ride it up so that I will have this buy and this buy, two buys, but I would have taken a profit for, for my time. So what happened here? This my buy is negative and this my sell is in profit, right? So that's my, my sell that I entered, my hedge trade. You can see 326 pips. In how many days? Just like four days. In four, this was like a one, two, three, four, five. Yes, this is like a four or five day period. You made 300 pips and you're going about your day. When you are, and you open your phone, oh, as the second candle, this one, first candle opened, it went under. First candle opened here, yeah, it went under. First candle opened, it, you're just checking every four hours. When the second candle opened, you close your sell trade, bank your profit. And what you have done here, as you close the sell trade, you enter a buy trade again. So this is why you need to use small lot sizes so that you don't use 50% of your account on one trade. Because you may you can open 10 trades, 15 trades, and we just watch the charts and we know when to close them. So what now happened here again? The price did as if it's going up. I closed my sell only for the price to go down again. As the price went down again, what would I have done? I opened the sell here. I will open an equal but opposite trade in the other direction. So that means I now have two buys and two sells. Are you seeing that? So this was the second buy. The second buy was up here. The thing reversed again. I opened another sell when the second candle opened below. So that means I now have two buys and two sells. And I ride the trend down again. And I'm looking, when does the second candle open above? One, this one opened here, one, two. Once the second one opens, I want to close the trade. I close this my sell trade that is in profit. This is my sell that is in profit. That's what I close. And that's 72 pips. Can you see how easy it is? I had 398 pips. Now I have 72 pips. That's like already 460, 460 or 470 pips. That's how we take money from the market. But guess what? I still have buys that have not closed. First buy is in loss. Second buy is in loss. Right? And I just opened a third one because the second candle has opened above. So all these trades that are in a loss, I, in my head, I convert them to dollar cost averaging. They are DCA trades. I'm waiting for price to go back up so that I can close them. And price may not go back there in six months. I don't care. Whenever price comes up above this point, I will close it. All right. So now I have three open buy trades. And what we're now doing is we wait for the next move. If the bank decides to go down again, we follow them. We keep following them until the trend changes. We just wait for they want, what they want to do. And the chart shows you exactly what they are doing. And because you are using the moving average, the eight exponential moving average, you will enter when they are entering. So not that this one that we have false entry, false, uh, you know, false setups and all that. When it's very likely that when the second candle opens above, 
or below that that's the trend. And in the case where it does not the trend, no problem. You hedge and convert it to a dollar cost averaging trade. All right. So that's basically the strategy. Everything we do around this is how to enhance the strategy, how to use risk management, money management, how to take your profit, how to grow your account. But that's basically it. It's not more complex than that. What you now need after that is guidance. Your emotions, don't be greedy, don't revenge trade, use appropriate lot size. You know, like the doji rule, if I see doji at the top, I close the trade because it may likely reverse. If I see doji at the bottom, look at the doji here. If I see doji at the bottom, I don't do anything because even if it's a small reversal, it's not significant. The only reason I will close in a downtrend is if I hit the 200 moving average or the, the price crosses over the 8 EMA again. And that's how we just trade. All right. So let's talk. Does that make sense? Is someone excited about this? All right. So please put your questions in the chat. I, I promise that I will answer questions once I'm done. And I'm almost done with the um with the text. What do I do with the candlesticks? You know, all this bullish engulfing, uh, morning star, railway head and shoulders pattern, and all those things. It's, in, it's good to know them. I know them, but I don't use them for my entry signal. I use them for, okay, I'm anticipating. Oh, I've seen the bullish engulfing candle, but I'm not going to open a trade because I saw bullish engulfing candle. I'm going to, because it could be um, a liquidity sweep. It could be a false, false signal. I wait until I get my confirmation, and my confirmation is based on the eight exponential moving average. But it's good for you to understand these things. Oh, okay. It's possible. We can use it to talk about the chat. Oh, they're taking profit. Oh, we may have this. We may have that. But what do we take our entry and exit on? It's based on the eight exponential moving average and those other uh, rules that I gave you. All right. So did you get value so far? I think we're almost two hours. And uh, okay, this is way about one hour, 30 minutes in the in the zoom and um i hope you guys let me take a sip of water if you've gotten value so far let me type value type value type value please uh at least reward me i didn't charge you for the workshop okay this is what i've been using to grow my account some of you are looking for complicated strategy <laughs> what you should be looking at is how much did you make last month okay i just showed you what i made <laughs> last month from my account that's one of my accounts okay <clears throat> amazing okay so let me take one of the questions somebody said <clears throat> assuming one doesn't have enough money in his or her account can it be possible to trade now if you're on the wrong broker using the wrong type of account you cannot hedge trade Maybe you are using a standard account. Are you seeing it? If you use, as I told you, if you're not on a cent account, this is going to be hard, especially if you don't have money. And left to me, if you're not trading up to $100,000, $50,000, you have no business with a standard account. You are gambling. You can't apply risk management on a standard account with, with $100, um, <laughs> $100 capital, all right? Um, because one pip is $1. So if we have 30 and the, the price, I showed you gold move 400 pips in a day, 470 pips in a day. So how do you want to go about that? <laughs> okay, so you thought it wants to go up. You put your trade, it didn't stop you at 30 because you are using 30 pips stop loss. You stop you at 30 pips and 30 pips is, is $30. Out of $100, it may 70. You do another trade, <laughs> it's close under $20. It's $50, half of your account is gone. Except you are trading serious money, there's no point. Why are you? You are gambling. That's too, the stakes are too high. So you need to be on a cent account. And even if you're on a cent account, you need to be on a broker that's not going to charge you swap fees and is not going to charge you taxes and, and the commissions so that you can allow the trade to breathe. Somebody say, let the trade breathe. <laughs> let the trade breathe. Allow the trade breathe. Eh? Look at it. Allow the trade breathe. See trade, 22nd of 
of September. Leave it, let it leave it. Even if you are stressed about a trade, close the trade, head your trade, and go away. The account I showed you, right? That's what I did. That's my uh, this is my workshop account. I use this account. Where is it? Yeah, open up now. I use this account to just illustrate the what I'm teaching you guys. So it's taking some time to load, okay? So I use that account to illustrate what I'm teaching you guys. And the trade that that day, I got load now. Like my network is a bit slow. But you can see that I don't use demo. That's another thing. I don't believe in demo accounts. Sorry, sir. 18 years in the game. I don't believe in demo accounts. If you want to learn how to trade, you learn by doing, not by paper trading. Your emotions are not involved in paper trading. And you don't learn when your emotions are not involved. So if you are doing demo trading, you are when you finish your demo trading, you realize you grow your account to hundred thousand dollars from one thousand in demo. When you now put hundred hundred dollars, maybe you have hundred thousand in your demo account, put hundred dollars in your in your live account, and you see how you start shaking. So I recommend you put in substantial money. I've shown you how to hedge trade. All right. <laughs> On this particular account, okay, it's a great point. One pip is one cent. If I use 0 0.01, one pip is one cent. So you can see that what I have in this account is $10. It's $10, not $1,000. It's showing me 1,000 cents. So if I open this account, this is 0 0.01. One pip is one cent. I can learn the strategy, but I know that my money is on the line. But if I make a mistake, if I make a mistake and the trend goes 100 pips in the opposite direction against me, maybe I slept, I did not hedge. That 100 pips is only $1 that I take out of my account. That's drawdown. Are you seeing it? So it allows you to have the lowest possible risk. But by the time you start getting used to the strategy and you are now closing trades in profit, you've done this for like a month and it's working out, Guess what you can now start doing? You can now start using 0 0.1 lot size or start with increase to 0 0.02, go to 0 0.03. There's nothing that says you can't have your $10,000 in a cent account. It will $10,000 will show us uh, almost a million, right? Cents. But you can, you can, there's nothing that starts from using a lot size of 200. You can use lot size of 200. Can you see? You can use the size of 900. You can use 9,000. You can use 90,000. So it just means at the point where you want to use a small risk, you have access to it. If you see that your drawdown is increasing, you can decide to reduce your lot size. Okay, don't let me use 0 0.1 again. Let me go down to 0 0.05. So it allows you flexibility and you can grow your account. Okay, let me show you one account. I didn't want to show you guys before, but let me show you. Let me show you guys so you know. And this account I want to show you is on a cent account. Nobody should faint on it. <laughs> all right. So you can see all these accounts are real accounts. I don't demo trade. I do not demo trade. Okay. So if you look at this account, say, ah, 14 million is not 14 million, but it's a lot of money. All right. So let's, but I don't want to, don't focus on, don't focus on, the amount focus on the the profit. I see it. It's five thousand percent. This is almost two years. This is 21 percent 21, uh, per month average. Can you see the chart? Can you see the return? Can you see the graph? This is a live account. This is this is what I'm asking you guys to do. This is what makes sense, where you can trade and you don't have to lose your, your life, your lifestyle, and grow your account. I promise you guys to show you something. For those of you that are still to the end, I promise to show you something and I'll show you now. How can this work for you? I want everybody to bookmark this site. I'll put it in the chat. 
This is the last thing I'll show you, and then close. So I put it in the chat. Okay. Um. Okay. Infinix is like a beginner. What should be the minimum? There's no minimum amount. All right. But I tell you, look, if you are taking it seriously, put in money that when you make profit, you know, it will make sense. If you are putting ten dollar in your account, you won't take it serious. Or some of you put hundred dollars, you won't take it serious. All right, so I recommend a thousand dollars. If you want to take this serious, put a thousand dollars. You're not going to use it to trade at once, but the fact that you've made a commitment will make you take it serious. And then you start on the lowest risk side. If you have a thousand dollars and you start with 0 0.01, you're only using a fraction of a fraction of the account, but you know that your money is there in that account. But then you know that there's, there's track for growth. When you start making profit, you can increase your lot size and start using more risk up to the point that your emotions tell you, oh, God, calm down. That's when you know you need to stop. So there is no minimum on FBS. There's no minimum. You can put 2000 You can put $3,000. I think that's even the lower, $1,000. That's the lowest. But don't fool yourself. Put in money that if you make profit, you know, you can grow like, like I'm showing you. All right? So... Um, can one trade a lesser time frame apart from four hours? Yes. So the lady I showed you, uh, money at the beginning, I did 100% per month. She was trading on 15-minute chart. If you want to trade on 15-minute chart or a smaller chart frame, time frame, what we do is that you, you use the four hour to, to dictate the direction. When you spot the direction, for example, when the second candle has opened below, we know that we are short. So what can you do when you are short? For example, right now we are below. Let me see. It looks like we are sort of a consolidation now. Uh, so you can't really take any of these as signals. You can't take any of these as signals. Second candle, no second candle. Okay. But when you see that we are below the 8 EMA like here, second candle has opened. This was the second candle that opened below. And you see that we are somewhere here. You can now go into smaller time frames. You can go to the five minutes F. You can go to the fifteen minutes. You can go to the thirty minutes. All right. I don't do that because I'm busy. I don't have the time to do that, and I'm I'm not here to gamble. I'm okay with my twenty percent per month, you know, and I'm putting serious money. So when you like that trade that I, I just talked about was somewhere here thirtieth, thirtieth, yeah. So. What you do is you wait when you see when you you know that you're in a short trend on uh the four hour, you go to the 15 minutes and then you look for when you have that crossover. Let the price go over the ATMA, right? Like here, like here, and come back down. Second candle below, you enter. You use the same rules, but it must be in the direction of the four hour trend. Hello, I hope that makes sense. So you always need to be checking the four hour for direction. Like here, I would have been on 15 minutes. I'd have entered a cell here. And I would have reading that trade down up to this point, up to here. So first candle, what is first? Uh, let's see. This is, this is not even a good, this is very choppy. So first candle opened above here. Second candle, I would have exited here. That is 124 pips, all right? But you can see immediately it closed here. It went back down. When the second candle opened below, I will enter again. So smaller time frame allow you to have more trades. If you have more time, then you can keep your emotions in check. You can just keep writing it down. Doji, this doji on the bottom of the trend, I ignore it, all right? I ignore it until here. Second candle opens above, I close the trade, all right? Opens below again, I enter the trade. Opens above, you understand? So that's how you do on the 15 minute chart, but you need to be careful. Use the correct lot, lot size so that you don't um, use too much of your account to open so many trades. So let me show you the freedom plan. And that's where we're going to end the, the session. Uh, don't go, don't go. This is going to make it come true for you. Because many of us, we are chasing what is not lost. So come to this website, click on compound interest. If you are bored as a trader, 
you are staying at the chat and making silly mistakes. Just take some time off and come to this uh, particular website. Okay, so I want to show you something. If you start with a thousand dollars, okay, if you put your money in the bank for a year, I see the interest rates one for one year, you are going to get sixty dollars at the end of the year. So if you're on this trade on this call, you know that putting your money in the bank is is a foolish thing to do in Nigeria. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, rather give it out, give it to beggar, give arms, give people. <laughs> Because inflation is 30%. You understand? So the bank will give you 6%. So you lose 24%. So, but if you do what I'm doing and you make 10% per month, let's see what will happen. 10% is average. You're not doing anything. We have people doing 30% per month consistently, but they have time to manage. I don't have time to do that. But if you want to do that, it's, it's very possible. But I don't want to work with the upper living, as I told you. Work with anybody in this place can start doing 10% per month consistently. If you do 10% per month, in eight months, you would have doubled your account. In eight months. Okay, someone says they can't see. Let me share my screen again. Okay. Let me share again. Hope you guys can see. You should be able to see now. All right. Um, you would have doubled your account in eight months. But I don't trade for cash flow. I don't trade for income. I recommend go and get a job or that but that's just me. Because I'm trading for freedom. All right. So I'm not withdrawing from my account every month and all that. There's no need. I'll show you why. What you can do, so this your one thousand has become three thousand. That's 213%. You can't get that anywhere else. So we already know that. What if you do this for three years? That same 1,000, you didn't touch it. Your 1,000 has become 30,000. So if you were removing out of the money every month, obviously it would be much less than this. But I feel, or at least have one account. That's what I'm saying. Even if you have one account that you are using to scalp and take money, have one account that you are using to grow for freedom. Take my advice. This account, you're not touching it. You're not withdrawing from it. You're only depositing into it. You are in Nigeria. You need something that will keep you above the economy. So you do 10% per month. If you do this for five years, this will give you $304,000. This is over 300 million. You are financially free, my brother. This money is not for you to spend. It's not for you to buy a car or a house. This money is investment money. It's freedom money. This is your freedom account you are trading. Not your scalping and all this one. This one, you use this strategy, 10% per month. You do this for five years. All right. If you're like me and you can do 20% per month, you can see how the money... This is mathematics, and I've shown you my, my statistics. In three years, you're earning 703,000 if you're doing 20% per month. And you can. You can do 20% per month. I just showed you. It's 21%. I showed you. This is what? This is 12%. This is another account. 12%. This is my own account, though. I can give you guys the link. If you come on Discord, I, I post my account on Discord almost every, every couple of days. Okay? But what am I saying here? Even if what you have is five hundred dollars, even if what you have, I, I just, I just feel, start where you are. Start with the, start with the highest money you can start with. Don't kill yourself. Start with the highest money that you have available. This is for wealth creation. If you have hundred dollars, start with that. But if you have more than that, I counsel you, because it's a matter of time. We are dealing with time here. If you use two hundred dollars and you do ten percent per month and you do five years. Guess what? Your $200 is $60,000. When your money is $60,000, you can take $30,000 and go and buy a block of flat. $30 million. Can you buy a block of flat? <laughs> you can buy a block of flat. You may, need to, you may need to do your own a bit more. Okay, but let's say you started with $1,000. Can you see what I'm saying now? It makes sense. You can, you can hold it and do something. All right? But I want to teach you a trick that most forex traders are missing. Most of you. You only know how to withdraw from your account. You don't know how to grow it. This is what I do personally. This is what I do in my own account. 
I fund my account every week. Minus the money, uh, let's, say, let's say every month. I do every week, but it's the same as in every month, once a month. Minus the money that I'm growing my account, I save my savings that I would have put in the bank. I put a good part of it into my, my freedom account. Because this, this account is going to go at 10% per month, 20% per month for as long as I can grow it. All right. So guess what? If I add, so I, let's assume I start with $1,000 and I add $50 a month. Can you see how that changes? You know, without that money, it was 300,000. Uh, it was 300,000. Just because I added $50, $50. Everybody can add $50 to their account. If you are working, if you earn an income, if it's $20, add it. Save. In the five years, my total deposit is $3,000, but I've grown compound interest. That's what I'm trying to do. When I do this in five years, that's where my account is going. And one of my accounts is already closed there. When I do this in five years, what am I going to do? I can take $100,000 and go and buy a rental, um, you know, maybe three flats. And I'll maybe three flats, and I'm in Suvilliri or where, Yaba, wherever, Ikeja. I think I can buy a flat for that price in Ikeja. Somewhere. I'm collecting, you know, two, two million per annum. That's six million. You are free. And that's just part of your account. You can even decide that, okay, now me, I want to be taking out of my 10% I'm making every month. I want to take 5%. If you're making 10%, of $400,000, that's $40,000 a month. If you take half of that, that's $20,000. You, you can start paying yourself $20,000 a month in five years time. But you have to do compounding first. And the reason most people tell you in Forex, withdraw, 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 is because they know that one day they are going to blow their account. But if you trade like the institutions, you're not going to blow their account. Can you see that? So, I just told you my strategy. Do your 10%, do 15%, do 20%, but compound it. When it gets to a sizable amount, you can withdraw part of it. Maybe you wait for a year. Wait for a year, and then after doubling your account, you can withdraw 30% and do something. Are you seeing that? So you need to have your strategy, but this is what me I'm doing. Okay, so I hope you guys got value from that. Um, I said I was going to show you, um, I was going to show you um cut data cut data let me show you this is what you are going to learn in the mentorship i will explain it to you this is a is it is mandatory information all the institutions have to publish every week they have to tell you what they are doing how much gold did they buy how much bitcoin did they buy how much us dollar did they buy did they sell they need to tell the black rocks the vanguard the jp morgan's they need to tell you, they need to disclose it. Compose really. Can you see Forex majors? They need to tell you the US dollar, how much are they holding? But guess what? See gold, Bitcoin, precious metals. And this, you can access this for free. So I just come here. I look at the last week. Okay. I say... On this, this one is the position that the, the amount of long positions that's amount of buys that they are holding. The long position this is this is contract. So, this 279,000 is lots standard lots. One standard lot is hundred thousand dollars. So, this is 279,000 lots or standard lots. So, guess what. These institutions are long to 79,000 standard lots, but they are also short. Uh -uh. How come? I'm not like, look at it, long, short. This is gold now. They are only long, they are short. Oh, I thought I'm supposed to collect on my profit. No. Trade like the banks. What's happening is when the market goes down, they will take out some of their profits. When it goes up, that's exactly what I'm teaching you how to do. But how do we use this data to trade? We we'll look at last week. Okay, 278,000. This week, 279,000. Oh, what are they doing? They are adding to their longs. 
What does that tell you? If the institution is adding to their lungs, most likely the market may go up. If you come and see, okay, like now, this is pretty much the same. They didn't do anything to their shorts. You see it. They even reduced it a bit. But if you come, this is the change. This minus this is what you see here. So if you come on, we can see a serious change. 15,000 lots. Like it was 265 and then it went to 281. You know that these guys are buying. The institutions are buying. What is going to happen to gold is going to go up. If you go and check 26th of March, I just gave you one expo now that, that I pay money to lend. Go and check 26th of March. Let me go to, I'm on the wrong. Let's go to, what's happening here? This 25th of March. This 25th of March. 26th of March. Can you see that? Oh, sorry. 26th of March to 2nd of April. So that week was, uh, what is it? Yeah, so from 26th of March was the last record. And then by 2nd of April, we saw that they have added 15,000. At first, they reduced from 278 to 265 so that the market went down. Then they increased it to 281. What happened? Pew. <laughs> Can you see that? So we use it to gauge. If you see that they are reducing their shorts, if they are reducing their shorts, it means that they believe that they want to push the market up. If they are reducing their longs, it means that they are taking profit, the market may go down. These are the guys driving the market. But what can you see from this place? You can see that most likely they have a three times more, almost four times more long than they are short. So the institutions believe that gold is still going to go up. That's why they are like this. They overwhelmingly believe and they are preparing for it that gold will go up. So you already know. You already know that gold may have a sustained move up because these guys have been like this for a long time. Can you see when they started reducing their shots from September? This was before the war. So they knew that this thing will start going up. They but they are still holding it. They have some positions that are negative. They are managing it. So that's Espo number one that I've shown you guys. Does that make sense? All right. So we use cut data when we are... Um, okay, if you guys are not getting that Discord, let me just give you... Uh, let me give you a direct link. All right. Let me go here. Let me give you a direct link. Links. Discord. Let me just post this. Where's my chat? All right. So that's the Discord link. So you guys can. You know what? Okay, so that's the Discord link. All right, so um oh we have we have overshot our time, so we're gonna have to wrap the session here. I've shown you about the cut data. I was gonna show you guys retail sentiment. So I've sent you the Discord link. Um the telegram, I've posted that above before. So you guys can go to my telegram and um, join the telegram. T.me. That's the telegram. Okay, now let's close this session. Let's close the session. Um, I want to introduce you guys to my mentorship program. Okay, wait, I want to show you something at the end of this. 
Uh, again, the idea is who's going to guide you. Who's going to guide you? Um, I've put all this information, the strategy. If you want to get the strategy videos, because this is paid content, so you guys are not going to have access to the replay. All right, but you want to go back. I've got the strategy video step by step, how to set up your account. Um, you know, the with the broker, set up the moving averages, the correct log size to use, entries, exits, all broken down. Because you're gonna have to go back and reference these videos. How do you come out of a hedge? When you hedge yourself, how do you come out of it? How do you use retail sentiment? I didn't talk about retail sentiment because our time is far spent. Uh, how do you use cut data? How do you use fundamental analysis? What's the place of fundamental analysis in this thing? Are you seeing that? How do you grow your account? And then you need guidance on the way. Oh, second candle has opened, but retail sentiment is down. Should I open the trade? How much of my trade should I close? You need mentorship. And that's why I did the Smart Money Masterclass. It's just for those who want, they don't want to go and bump their head figuring this out. You want to trade with me and be mentored by me. All right. And my other traders. So it's a self-paced course. You're going to have access to all the chat videos, uh, about eight hours of content. So this one, you see, I, I was cramming a lot of things, but all in that course, everything is laid down. So you will learn how to head trade, how to trade without a stop loss, how to trade without a take profit, how to make 200 to 400 pips per trade, um, how to use the 8 EMA, and how to make daily profit trading 10 to 15 minutes per week, or 10 to 15 minutes per day, max. Sometimes I don't trade more than 20 minutes a week on that my account. <laughs> it's ridiculous, but that's just how it is. This information is valued at $497,000 uh, Naira because it can change your life. I'm selling you transformation. If you, if you apply this, you can begin to start getting the results I showed you on my own charts and the ones other uh, guys are having. In addition to this, you are going to join my Forex trading. So I've given you access to the Discord, but I have an inner circle room on Discord where I share my trades and you can ask me any question. You know, that's where proper mentorship or day-to-day -day is going to be. Even though we all have a general room, there's a place where I can do, I do live uh, weekly calls every week, technical support, motivation, mindset, psychology, all those things, just to make sure that you are coming out of this thing profitable, guaranteed. All right? So if you want that, so that's valued at $297,000, but wait. Okay? Um, what I'm doing, because you join and you waited till the end, I'm going to give you an 83% discount. So you will not pay 794000 Just for this call, it's 100000 And this offer is only for the next three days by end of by 5th of may it's gone all right so if you go and check on my i'm going to give you the link now it's actually 100k but i want to give you guys a, another for that discount because you stayed with me till the end okay so if you click on this link and i'll post it in the chat um I'm going to post this in the chat. So two ways you can do this. If you want to grab this offer, you are ready to learn how to trade. You want to stop losing money. Just go immediately. Go and pay. You can pay with your card on seller. Uh, and then I'll let me know. I'll send me a WhatsApp. Or you can make a payment to via bank transfer and send me proof of payment on WhatsApp. This offer <laughs> is ridiculous that I'm giving you for 50K. But trust me, Look at that coupon code, LTT Workshop. is only for you guys staying to the end of the webinar. All right. Go and pay 50K before 5th of May. You'll be able to join uh, my inner circle. And then everything we've gone through as you are going through it, you know, you can ask questions. We trade together and make sure that you are making those profits every single month. All right. So the question is, what is this worth to you? Okay. Have you stopped blowing your accounts? Have you stopped blowing accounts? Have you ever made 300 pips profits? So this, these are the things you need to, you need to be brutally honest with yourself. Are you ready to make this thing work? Or you do, you do you still want to keep losing money in the market? How many years have you been trading? A month? If you're going to be able to get this program and, you know, start making progress at, 
at the end of the day, eventually. Are you set to retire in the next three to five years? Some of you are going to stake this thing and you know that today is the day I decided. Just like I did some years ago. Are you set to retire in the next three to five years? All right. If you answered yes to any uh, to those questions, um, go and take snatch up this offer. Trust me, uh, it's gonna be gone. Uh, first of all, the 50k uh discount is only for you guys. So if you go and check this thing, you know, after 5th of May, it's gonna be 100 k People will see people that don't join my webinar pay 100 k So it's only 50k on for you. You're the only one seeing this coupon. So take that coupon down, LTT workshop, go to seller, or you make a transfer to the account so I can add you, uh, give you access to the course so you can watch the videos and then you can start making um, those, those profits. One of my clients, can I still remember, I, I, I was asking him for, he just got started last month and um, FX Blue, oh, let me see if I can, if I can remember. I'm going to get it. Uh, FX Blue. Okay. So he already made 10% um, in, in, in the last one month. So this is it. This is my, this is my, <laughs> this is my guy's account. All right. So he made 10% in the last month. Don't mind that he's showing minus. Uh, it's because he, there's a trade he, uh, he's meant to close. He hasn't closed. So he has closed one of the trades, but he hasn't closed the other one. All right. But he started with he started with 1,500. Okay. 1,500. And now he's at 168, uh, 1,687. So he's actually growing his balance. As you can see in the chart, this is the deposit. 1,005. It was 1,000. He added 500, but his balance is growing to 168. And it's growing like that almost every day. You can see it. So that's how it's growing. So this one will correct by itself in maybe in like three days or so. So you can see it here in the monthly return, right? It's, it's around 4.8, but it's just starting. Once you get an average of trade, it would, it would sum up to 10%. So... People are trading. Uh, I've shown you some other testimonials. This is just a fresh person that is just starting. So he's still getting, he's still trying to understand um, how the thing works. All right. So 50,000 ones to potentially make um, 600 million, 500 million, 300 million in five years. Fred is asking, would the video be useful for a novice like me? Yes. Oh, I forgot to mention. Uh, if you buy this course, you are going. I'm going to give you free access to my beginner's course. So if you are new, um, I think I mentioned it there. Or I didn't mention it. Okay. I'm going to give you free access. I think I removed that from the, but I'll throw it in, Fred. So I have a beginner course, um, a beginner Forex course. It's called Trading Fundamentals. This course is 50,000 I have. It's a beginner course. So you can actually go to seller and you see there is actually 50,000 Naira. But uh, if you buy this course, just because you are on this webinar, I'm going to give you, I'll give you that course for free. You have access to that course, so you can watch that. But a beginner can use this. Uh, you can follow moving averages. I just need to help you set it up and then, as you keep trading, you are going to. So you see someone paid, someone just paid 100,000 for that course. So this is my Forex uh, beginner course. Where is it? Oh, it's not here. Okay. I'm just setting up this seller for you guys so that you can. So anyway, uh, Fred, the video will be useful. You need this video for the strategy, but that's also why you need mentorship. So any as you are going along the way, you'll be able to you'll be able to learn. Okay. You'll be able to learn that way. All right. So take the coupon, $50,000. If you have any questions concerning the course, 
Uh, I'll just give another two minutes, three minutes, so we can ask, and then we can call it a day. We've already spent over two hours. I didn't even expect we will spend up to two hours on this. Uh, I think I'll pour that. I'll pour that everything. <laughs> I'll pour that everything. All right, and it's not more than this. But what you need is guidance. So do we have other questions? We still have twelve people on. Any other questions? Who's getting started? Who's getting started today? Afiz, Afiz, you came, you, you, you stayed with us from beginning to end. Are you ready to get started? Uh, Emmanuel Akorede is here. Emmanuel, uh, Eni and them is here. Ibrahim Ahmed Shola, uh, in Phoenix Hot, Uwe Akban. Let me just let me just respect myself and say Akban. <laughs> Akban is here, Lumide is here, Xiaomi is here. Who is ready to get started? I'm looking for the action takers. Offer ends 5th of May. 5th of May. All right. So as I said, the 50,000, just take, a, take it as your, your initial drawdown. It's just expense. It's like buying inventory in your shop. You're going to make it back, <laughs> you know. But what will happen if you don't do it? That's what you should be looking at. What will happen if you don't do it? Okay, so get good at something worth getting good at. Stop sleeping on a bicycle, like we say. Stop doing things the wrong way. Stop running in the wrong direction. Stop looking for signals. You can take control of your of your own financial future. So how would it feel when you become financially free? When you have $500,000 in your account, what are you going to buy? Are you going to buy a car, Rolls Royce? It's, it's possible. It's possible, all right? I, I'll soon start showing Nigerian success stories. I have a lot of international, but we do, I just started teaching this to Nigerian markets. That's why you're seeing I'm setting this thing up. My uh, main Discord is global, uh, but it's it's high, it's expensive. So who are you going to help that you can't help now? Okay? So if not this, then what? What other option do you have? If not now, then when? Is it when dollar is 5,000? Naira, that you want to start saving in dollars, growing in dollars. If not with me, then with who? Who's going to teach you how to trade like the banks? Who's going to teach you how to trade in 10 minutes a day and grow your account exponentially? Where's the plan? All right. Stop passing over opportunities repeatedly. So once more, as I close, um, 50,000 before May 5th, Make sure you join the Discord, set up and fund your trading account, and start trading and building wealth. Thank you so much for joining the Zoom. I really appreciate your time. Um, if you need anything, you have my WhatsApp number. I'll, my WhatsApp number is uh, is there in the chat again. So I'll just post. I'll just post that again, uh, just in case. So all of you already have my details on WhatsApp. So those are my details. The link to go and buy. Uh, my WhatsApp number is there, or you can make a transfer and let's get you into the program. All right. Have a great night. Thank you so much. And I'll see you on the inside. God bless.